Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. So in today's video, as you guys can see from the title below, today I will be showing you guys how I transformed this giant oversized t-shirt that I got from Sainsbury's for four pounds into this IMG Savannah inspired top that I've been seeing everywhere and I really, really, really wanted to make it. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Just a quick side note, guys, this is a vloggy type style of video it's not a full-on tutorial because i was literally just documenting as i was making the top i didn't actually initially know how to make it when i start when i first started filming so i just want to give you guys a heads up it's not a full in-depth tutorial of how to do this and i'm also away from home right now so i don't have everything with me in order to get the best quality i am actually filming on my phone so yeah i hope that's okay guys but yeah i hope you enjoy bye so guys, um, I've been trying my hardest to like document and um, draft everything at the same time but because I'm not home right now and I don't have all my tools and I don't have my tripod and stuff, I've been doing like this so I'm just going to show you guys how I've done it. So basically I looked up the the actual um, top that I wanted to make, the IMG one and then I briefly just tried to sketch what the flat lay of it would look like as a pattern. <laughs> So I did my measurements in the mirror. I literally just eyeballed it with my nan's tape measure because she gave me a tape measure because I forgot mine. Um, and these were my measurements that I got. This was just roughly eyeballing the tape measure on my body. So this is basically the flat lay for this. And then I transferred it onto the t-shirt. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't have any pattern paper with me so I had to do the measurements directly on to the t-shirt. Um, so this is my waist measurement let me show you guys the measurements so, so funny enough i was just staring at the t-shirt and i decided to flip it upside down because this armpit of the curve looks exactly like this part and it actually fits exactly which is so weird so this measurement here of the armhole is this exact measurement which is eight centimeters plus 24 centimeters which is 32 so eight and 24 is 32 and this armhole is exactly 32 centimetres, which I thought was really strange. I was like, oh my god, this is ideal. So um, this is 32 centimetres. And then this bit here is going to be the centre front, um, which is 20 centimetres here. Um, and then, I think I did 20 centimetres. Yeah, sorry, my scribbles are really bad, guys. And then half of that is going to be 10 centimetres, which is going to be where the string is going to go through and then this measurement here should be 18 centimeters let me double check just in case um is that 18 yes that is 18 and then this measurement here is this measurement and if my measurements are correct this should be a right angle because this is a rectangle so this should be 12 which i didn't actually write down but it is actually 12 if my measurements serve me correctly yes it is 12 and then this bit is the is my waistline um towards my armpit which is these measurements which should be if my measurements serve me correctly 13 which is 13 and then oof, and then this measurement should be 20 Oh wait, this is long. This is this measurement is twenty. But I put fourteen here. Eh, I guess I can make it shorter if I want to. This is the only measurement that doesn't match up to what I drew. But obviously I'm trying to make it as a curve. Because if you guys can see, I was trying to figure out for ages whether or not this was a separate piece. When I first saw the photo I thought it stops here and then they made like a peplum to add to this but i don't think that's the case so i think it's attached in two halves so the seam line goes underneath her armpit down and then they attach another one to the other side so i'm gonna see how this goes and then i might just ruche it i'm not sure um and then the last measurement is this bit which is the curve which is that little bit there which is 35 centimeters and i think i have 35 centimeters on this um, 30, yes, 35 
35 there and then i've just and added a centimeter seam allowance around the whole thing and then i'm just going to draft the rectangle which is 18 by 32 by 12 by 20 and then we're going to see if this works i don't know guys i'm really winging this but yeah okay <laughs> see you in a minute i have my sewing machine here okay guys i've cut it out and kind of has like a weird little butterfly looking thing um i cut it on the fold so i didn't have to cut out two separate pieces now i'm going to cut down the middle um and then make the two rectangles for the top and then we're going to make the bit for the back i don't think this is enough to make it like gather i feel like it needed to be more flary but we'll see um I'm, I'm just winging this so yeah this flary bit should have been more gathered so maybe I needed to um, slash and spread this bit. That's probably what I needed to do, but I didn't do that. So yeah, I probably should have slashed and spread. <sighs> Too late. Anyway, let's just see how this goes. <laughs> okay, guys, this is where I'm at. Um, sorry, I didn't show you guys how I put this string thing through. So I just did the, the, oh my God, what am I doing? I did the string tunnels and then the string is literally just the seam of the t-shirt that i cut in half and just pulled the string and it made it thin like this i looked at the picture and i realized it's the other way around there's like a little tie bit so i did it here and i just ruched it and i did it here and this is what we're working with i kind of pinned it because it's actually a bit too big i made this rectangle too wide so it's really far apart so when i tried it on i didn't i didn't know how to show you guys without flashing you so i have to put it on physically to show you guys and then this is what i did to the back just to see what it would look like um but obviously it's not supposed to be like this it's supposed to be like this can you guys see oh, it's so pretty i'm obsessed with it ready and haven't even finished um this is the basic gist of it um i'm sorry it wasn't a proper tutorial but i thought i would document it anyway um I probably will try this again as this is like a t-shirt material and it's really thin. I don't know if you guys can see but like there's kind of like little holes in it because obviously it's so thin. I was going to double up the material but I was scared I wouldn't have enough because I only bought two t-shirts. Um, and the armhole trick thing was actually the best. So if you guys try this on a t-shirt, you are sure to like it. Um, but yeah, I love how it kind of just like all kind of waterfalls on each other like that so i kind of want to keep carry on that effect in the back but i'm not sure how to do that yet so um as you guys can see i've pinned it here so the excess fabric is tucked and then it's tucked there so i'm just going to sew it i'm going to take it off and sew it shut and then fix this because i've tied it around my neck and it should be the tie should be here to match this one okay let me finish it and then i'll come and show you guys i don't know either in the morning because as you guys can see it's dark now or when i'm finished because right now my sewing space has no light i'm currently using a, a lamp i'm going to show you guys in a minute um but yeah oh, i love i love a lot okay bye so as you can see this is my setup <laughs> i'm in my nan's dining room right now and the light bulb isn't working and yeah we haven't got any light bulbs to fit this so my uncle put in a lamp for me and this is how i'm working so yeah it looks like i'm in a little dungeon but i'm actually in the little i'm in the dining room to the kitchen this is the little thing that goes into the kitchen but yeah i used to be obsessed with that when we were little kids like because you don't really see those little hatches in the kitchens anymore but anyway i'm going off topic so i'm back down here and um i thought for the back i would use the same concept where i use the armhole so i'm going to make the armhole i'm going to cut the armhole so it's more of like a peplum shape again then curve it and then just do like a little something into my waist and then come back up and then obviously it's going to be backless so it's going to be just one straight line then down into my waist into the side and down how i drew it before obviously i would just use the pattern if I made a pattern, but I didn't, so and this is just drawing up roughly, and then that's going to be the side seams, and yeah, that's going to be the center back. But yeah, hopefully this works. I don't, I don't know, guys. We'll see. So I don't know if you can see. 
I did my waistline, which is 27 inches, and that's a quarter of my waistline. And then it'll go out into the peplum shape. And I'm going to cut around here and up here. And then this is just going to be straight across. And yeah, that should be the finished bit of my top. I haven't hemmed every, anything because I kind of like the way the raw hem looks. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, guys, this is what I ended up having. Um, as you guys can see, it basically looks like a giant butterfly. So, so I've attached the string through the neck hole. So this is the, I just literally looped it through with a safety pin. And then I did the same for the middle. I just went up, um, I went from the center down to 10 centimeters, which, I, which is what I measured on my little drawing. So I just went down 10 centimeters and then sewed them together and then fold it over one side and fold it over the other side and then loop the string through like that so this is what i'm working with and then i did the back which was um this piece i really need to put this on a tripod guys i'm holding my phone with my hand um this was the back piece that i cut out and i attempted to attach this right but i actually didn't like the way it looked it looked like there was too much fabric on the top like it didn't look dainty anymore it looked very chunky so i attempted to add it like this and then attach the two sides to the existing two sides like that and like that but i didn't like it so i didn't actually sew it together i literally just pinned it on my body and i hated it so i decided to use the string that was left over so this was like what was left of the hem of the t-shirt if you guys can see this is the original t-shirt i bought two of them so i basically used the hem which is this part of the t-shirt so this bit of the hem from here to here is these two bits of string and then this part here is the rest of it as you can see i don't know if you guys can see um so i decided in the end to actually um make two tunnels here and here and i'm just gonna thread the string through and then I decided to make a little tunnel here and here just fold it over about half a centimeter um and then I'm just going to make like a crisscross tie detail in the back and that will be that will be me done so let me try and put this on my tripod so I can show you guys how I threaded it through and then yeah that'll be it okay I've got you guys rigged up finally so I'm gonna take these bits of string I cut them in half um, I was going to do string on either side, but I think it would be easier just to do one. So that's what I'm going to do. So you're going to get your safety pin, stick it in there like that. You could use a small one, but I have this one. So yeah. Um, and then I'm just going to thread it through. So it will go through. Come on, guys, we like that. And then I'm going to get the other side, take the safety pin off, and do the other side. Stick it in there like that. Thread it through. Come on, go through. Go through. Like that. And give it a pull undo and that is my two strings for the back and then i'm just going to repeat the same thing for the little side ones these two so with this one i have a longer piece of string which is this bit um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with that so just move it out of the way again attaching the safety pin to the end of it like so and then just threading that through one two the other side and voila we have our top i was actually gonna 
thread it through so it's like a crisscross so it goes like down and then up and like that but um the spaces of the um tunnels are too far apart so it drags it down so it doesn't stay higher up which was kind of annoying me so i didn't do that that way so that way there's gonna be two strings so i'm gonna tie this one like so and then tie the other one and then that is my top done guys i'm actually really happy with it so i'm um, gonna show you guys what it looks like on and then that'll be the end of my video guys apologies i was wrong i literally just put it on and it made no sense i do need these two top half bits to be one string so it's gonna be one here and then i'm just gonna sew it like this right now i'm just gonna loop it just to show you guys but i do need to sew this so that's one like that and then i'm just gonna grab the other one the other string do the bobby pin thing bobby pin safety pin thread that through like put it through like so come on go through take it off do the same thing again do a loop go a little bit longer like that and tie And then you got the two strings to tie. Now I'm gonna try it on. Okay guys, this is the end result. Guys, I'm actually obsessed with this. I wanna make it in like every color. This is what the back looks like. So it's just all tied and shit. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a 12. Um, so definitely just try it, on, try it out on an old t-shirt that you guys have lying around the house um that you don't want to like mess up if you don't want to make this from scratch but i'm really happy i did it with a t-shirt because obviously i got this detail using the armhole and oh i'm just obsessed with it guys i really really love it i definitely want to make this again in like so many other colors um but yeah definitely check out my instagram if you guys want to see all the pictures of that i took in this um and yeah i hope you guys like um let me know if there was anything that i missed out in the video because obviously it wasn't a tutorial and i hope it wasn't too confusing um but yeah other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already if you guys are new to my channel and i will see you in my next video peace Sun is shining, feeling so blessed. So